Jeremy Corbyn was expelled from the Labour Party in Britain for his support for the Palestinian people. The Labour Party of 2023 has returned to the politics of Blair and his government's lies about Iraq. Keir Starmer, the current leader of the party, is lying about Palestine. Israel is driving the entire population of 2 million people out of Gaza and out of Palestine. It is outrageous that Keir Starmer would say Israel has the right to withhold water and power from the Palestinians. He did that on the final day of the party conference last week. Reports suggest that the people in the British Labour Party who have shown any previous sympathy for Palestine has, have been, are being expelled by the Zionists, like Starmer, who run the party. Others are resigning in disgust. Now, Zionists have always been very strong in the Australian Labour Party as well. But there has been a section of the Parliamentary Labour Party, namely Bob Carr, Graham Perrett, Anne Asa Ali, Fatima Payman, Claire Moore, Ed Husick, and in the Queensland Parliament, Peter Russo, and others who have supported Palestine. It is important that these people continue to place as much pressure as they can on Penny Wong and Anthony Albanese to recognise the human rights of the Palestinians. What the world is witnessing on their screens now is the expulsion of the Palestinian people by a colonial settler state. The Israeli aim is to make their country, Israel, like Australia, where the Palestinians represent only about 2 or 3% of the entire population, as has happened here with the Aboriginal people. The leaders of the party have made out that Hamas is the mighty, powerful military force, but it is not. The only powerful force in support of the Palestinians in the region is the Lebanese Hezbollah. Yet they are reluctant to act because they are afraid that the Israelis will destroy Lebanese infrastructure, meaning airports, bridges, roads, hospitals, as they did in the July war in 2006. Israel has already bombed airports in Syria to prevent logistical support getting to Hezbollah in solidarity with Palestine. But the Israelis are also concerned about bombing Lebanese infrastructure because they know that Hezbollah can destroy its oil well worth millions and millions of dollars off the coast of Lebanon with their missiles. A war on the southern front by Hezbollah would be disastrous for the Lebanese people, already suffering from economic chaos. As Israel tries to drive the population of Gaza into the Sinai, the Egyptian government does not wish to have two million people on its doorstep. Egypt wants Israel to accept the civilian population of Gaza into Israel. Of course, the Israelis will not do this because they are trying to ethnically cleanse the Palestinians from their homeland. I suggest very strongly that people support Justice for Palestine, Mianjin's Rally for Palestine that is in King George Square today at 2 p.m. at Saturday, the 21st of October, and they support their vigil that is coming up this coming Friday on the 27th at 5 p.m. Stop the genocide, end the siege of Gaza, and stop arming Israel. Ian Kerr signing off for 4PR Voice of the People.